Okay, so on the axes below, we're graphing two functions. The function y equals the absolute value of x, and then y equals 3 times the absolute value of x. And we're looking at the interval where x is greater than or equal to negative 3, but less than or equal to 3. So we just, you know, we can set up tables here for each function, y equals the absolute value of x. And we plug in our x values from negative 3 all the way up to positive 3. So pick all the interval integral values there. And in this case, when we plug these x values in, we plug them into this formula. So negative 3, you take the absolute value of that and get y. You get positive 3. Negative 2 gets positive 2. Negative 1 gets positive 1. And then 0, 1, 2, and 3 all remain the same. Then we can plot these on our graph, right? We have 0, 0, 1, 1. This will be the height of 1. 2, 2, right here. And then 3, 3 will be there. And then over here, we'll have the same thing, really, except the x's, the inputs will be negative, but the outputs will still be positive. So we kind of get this V shape right here and get used to that with absolute value. Whenever we have absolute value functions, we get some variation of this V shape. And, and our other equation is going to be very similar, except it's y equals 3 times the absolute value of x. So here, when we plug in our x values, you can almost imagine what's going to happen. We plug in negative 3, we, we plug that into the absolute value, so that becomes 3, times 3 becomes 9. Negative 2, absolute value of that is 2, times 3 is 6. Negative 1, the absolute value of that is 1, times 3 is 3. 0 times 3 is 3, 1 times 3 is 3 again. 2, oh sorry, 0 times 3 is 0. 2 times 3 is 6, right, because the absolute value of 2 is still 2. 3 times 3 is 9. So we get a very similar kind of function here. We still have 0, 0, but then what we have is the point 1, 3. So instead of 1, 2, right, we have 1, 3. It's a little bit steeper. Instead of 2, 2, right, what do we have? Well, we have 2, 6. So 2, oh, 1, 2, oops, sorry about that. This uh, 1, 3 would actually be here, right? 1, 3, negative 1, 3 is symmetrical, 2, 6, so 4, 5, 6, so 2, 6 would be here, negative 2, 6 would be here, and then 3, right, we have 7, 8, and then it would be off the chart here, but since these are really just two kind of straight lines that meet at 0, 0, you can still plot it here by connecting those points, and now we have y equals 3 times the square root of, of the absolute value of x. So as that number gets higher that we multiply the absolute value of x by, our graph uh, grows at a faster rate. So we get this narrower type of graph.